Good afternoon, Fredericton, and welcome to Benchmit TV. When you're do when you're purchasing a home that's outside of city limits, you need to do a water test because you're going to have a well. Now, the bank requires that you do this. The bank requires that the water on the property that you're buying is potable, is drinkable. Now, the only requirements by the bank to test for is E. coli and bacteria. So as long as those pass, the bank is willing to lend out the money for you to purchase the home. Now on our purchase and sale agreement, you check either yes or no to you're doing a water test. But then furthermore, it's got another part where it says, check the box if you're doing a full chemistry test. Now, a basic water test is $55, $60, and a full chemistry test, another $65, so it's $120. Now, what a full chemistry test is gonna tell you is magnesium levels, the iron levels, if there's arsenic, what the turbid turbidity level is, etc., etc. There's some more, uh, you, you get to find out exactly what's wrong with that water. Now, the interesting situation that I've heard about is how a buyer put an offer on a property, checked that they were doing the water test, did not check that they were going to do a full chemistry test, paid for a full chemistry test, had issues arise, but on issues that were found that are not E. coli and bacteria. So there was a bit of a back and forth. Now all parties ended up playing fair and they negotiated on the um, water softener that they need to put in but something to be very cautious of make sure you do full chemistry it's worth the 65 extra dollars and make sure you check off that you're doing so if you have any questions make sure you give me an email it's ben.schmidt at me.com and thank you very much Fredericton we'll be talking to you real soon